had a goal that requires you setting up a different workspace to what you've had, or perhaps you're changing direction in your career, you're wanting to do a um, pivot in your career, any kind of change that you're needing that needs a little bit of a difference, a change in your work environment. I'm Shoshana Shear, and in this video, I thought I'd share some images and ideas that have helped me to gain inspiration for developing my, my own art studio. The first step is to think about and consider and perhaps write down a list of what kind of things, what, what kind of art will I be creating? What is it that I'll be doing in this room, in this space, in this environment? And then to start to think of what my needs will be. So it's good to take time to dream big, seize the moment, as they say, and enjoy every moment too. Regarding the kind of art that I'm involved in, my work is all intuitive, abstract, flowers, nature, inspirational, calming images. I really much enjoy light and that inspires me. I'm intrigued by light. I love to use color, soft color mostly. And uh, my art is very much paintings and drawings at this stage. I'm going to need a space or an area that where I can do photography of my artwork and some other products that I'm creating. And also do some video, both for these kinds of videos and developing some online courses that I have in mind. So some kind of photographic area or place to store photographic equipment where I can be able to set it up and work effectively. A good space, an appropriate size space, the right lighting, all the things that are needed for a good photographic section. Obviously the equipment will be important too. I'm going to need all the right supplies and for this I'm, I need to take some time to look and get some inspiration, some ideas of to quantify exactly what it is that I'm going to need in my art studio. Hmm, this spacious studio is rather nice. I like the lighting, I like the fact that it has windows. The thing is, I'm not going to be doing sculpture and I'm not doing portraits either. So we're going to have to go back to the drawing board. Ah, yes. Well, I'll be painting and some of that requires really good brushes or perhaps some new brushes, some uh, various different supplies and materials that are necessary for painting. Ah, this one's better. It's not quite there yet, though. I do love to use color, as I said, and soft and beautiful colors. I'm going to need a space to prepare the paints effectively and have all the brushes and the materials, as I said. I really like big windows. I like to have the light that comes in. I like to see a beautiful view as well and also to have good ventilation. Look at that space. The curved shape is really interesting too. So the shape of the room could have some importance. The types of colouring of the window frames also is significant. The space needs to be suitable to paint large canvases. I really have a desire to be getting to do some large canvases and I'm going to want to have an easel that I can be able to rotate. So that's important. But some of the work, artwork that I do is a bit smaller and some of it on fabric so I probably will need a table surface as well. I love to use a range of mediums actually and uh, well I'm going to need a lot of new materials and supplies because a lot of the materials I've been using up until now have been what I had available some of it entry level some of it just getting me into working with my art and discovering, creating. So I need to level up the quality of the materials that I'm using and that's going to be important. 
I love drawing and at the moment I'm in draw involved with improving my drawing skills. I'm going back to the fundamentals of drawing and I'm also working on improving my work with uh, drawing in ink. So these are materials that are good for me. One of the mediums I started using was colored pencils and uh, I love a range of different colors and I'm really in need of being able to expand how many different colors I have available on my palette to be able to use. So I'm going to be needing some new colored pencils and as I said, more professional, although I did start using Faber Castle right at the beginning, but when that set was finished, the next set of colored pencils that I got was not of the same quality and I'm needing to improve that so that I can be able to get to use more have more quality to the work that I'm doing so uh, I'm in need of an assortment of paints as well I have done some painting on silk and although I've not been able to source the correct silk and I've let that slide a little bit since I came to Israel I have dabbled a little bit with using watercolor, a little bit with acrylics, a little bit one painting with oils, and I really want to learn to master that some more. So I'm going to need some more paints and to have everything well organized. So I'm not going to be using, putting things in cutlery drawers, but this image shows the importance of having drawers and different levels. To store everything correctly and there are certain specific drawers that one can obtain that's specific for lying one's paintings and drawings flat to store them correctly and also certain papers I need to have everything well organized the products uh, to have shelves or drawers we'll have to see which would be most effective and source that as I'm able to I love the idea of having plants in the studio. It gives a really lovely atmosphere that helps with the one's creative, um, to be able to get into the right mood for creating, to c calm oneself and contemplate or draw the plants even. The plants give such a wonderful atmosphere, don't they? So I'm on the lookout for some plants and it's really good to have some books with uh, shelves obviously necessary we do have bookshelves thank goodness and uh, in addition to the wall art that I'm involved in doing I also create certain creative gifts which some of them are knitted some of them are sewn so we need place to store the materials effectively also to do the packaging cutting out of materials sewing by hand or to having the machine a good place to put the machine it's not so easy in the area that we are right now this is quite a lovely studio over here I really like this one so it's it's good to dream it's good to gain some inspiration but it's important once you've gained that inspiration to take it that step further develop some action plans develop some goals and see what you can be able to do to work towards developing or bringing that dream into being so those are some of the images that I've found and I've gathered that's given me inspiration I hope it's given you some inspiration too let us know in the comments below whether what kind of environment you work in or if you're also perhaps working on a on developing your own art studio and with that I wish you a very blessed day before we go, do subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this video. If you enjoy videos of this nature, please let me know. If you have any requests, let me know as well in the comments below, of course. And click that like button if you've enjoyed it, because that helps YouTube to, to realize that there's some interest in these videos and hopefully to let other people know to find it. This is Shoshana Shia coming to you from a wet and cold Jerusalem and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Ciao for now.